Good day, research panelists. We are beyond delighted to be here in front of you as we discuss our capstone research project entitled The Effectiveness of Parodies in Using Indica Grass as a Raw Material for Paper Products. Introduction In the community, paper is used in a variety of ways. It can be used as packaging, envelopes, straws, and other items with the obvious and it is not just an economically friendly, but it is also environmentally friendly. Meaning that by using paper instead of plastic, we may assist to prevent pollution that harms our environment and can help the people in the community. As a result, the rapid increase in paper consumption is gradually decreasing. Moreover, trees, which are primary source of paper, are rapidly becoming extinct. However, many academics have been interested in developing a new method of producing paper. Furthermore, grass fiber is one of the shortest paper-making fibers, but it still produces intriguing papers. Like Paragis grass, it is high in fiber and can be used to make paper. That's why the researchers would like to conduct a research on how to make an alternative paper production made out of paragus grass as a raw material. Statement of the problem This study aims to find the feasibility of paragus grass in the scene indica in making paper packaging materials and paper products. Specifically, the study aims to answer the following. First, which among the treatments is acceptable in terms of absorption capacity Fire resistance, new strength, tensile strength, and vitality. Second, there is a significant difference among treatment in terms of absorption capacity, fire resistance, new strength, tensile strength, and vitality. Lastly, what paper products can be created out of fire grass? Hypothesis. First, null hypothesis. There is no significant difference among the treatments in terms of absorption capacity. First, alternative hypothesis. There is a significant difference among the treatments in terms of absorption capacity. Second, null hypothesis. There is no significant difference among treatments in terms of fire resistance. Second alternative hypothesis, there is a significant difference among the treatments in terms of fire resistance. Third null hypothesis, there is no significant difference among treatments in terms of the extra. Third alternative hypothesis, there is a significant difference among the treatments in terms of the extra. Fourth null hypothesis. There is no significant difference among the treatments in terms of tensile strength. Fourth alternative hypothesis. There is a significant difference among the treatments in terms of tensile strength. Fifth alternative hypothesis. There is a significant difference among treatments in terms of writability. For the procedural flow, First is the preparation of materials and equipment. Next is conducting the paper making and applying different treatments, followed by the preparation for tear strength test, absorption test, dental test, blood test, and fire resistant test. And the last procedure is for data analysis and interpretation and making conclusion. For the methods, the following steps or procedures are followed. First, the grass was harvested by cutting the leaves of the grass to allow the grass to grow back, after which the leaves were washed thoroughly in running tap water to remove all the dirt. The next step is to red or soak the grass in a stainless bowl. Since we planned several treatments, one bowl is redded using water only and other with sodium hydroxide or caustic soda. The redding process differs in time. The least time the grass was redded is 4 days and a maximum of 7 days 
to make the grass soft and to separate the starchy parts from fibers. This process is what we call retting. Afterwards, we boil the grass on a burner with high to medium heat. Boiling time varies to achieve different pulp textures. Some are boiled for 30 minutes, 1 hour, 1 hour and 30 minutes, and 2 hours as a maximum with caustic soda. After boiling, pour it into a strainer and save the sodium hydroxide solution for another cooking or use. Rinse the pulp thoroughly with tap water to remove the chemical or the sodium hydroxide in it. Using a blender, blend the rinsed pulp with some water. While blending, prepare a large basin or storage box with plenty of water, a molder, and a decal for sizing and coaching. Make sure that the mold, water, and the decal are leveled to have a good outcome. Pour the pulp inside the mold and decal. Shake it a bit to make the pulp even, then remove the molder and transfer it into its silk. We took extra care when transferring the linen. We used the sponge to get rid of the excess water and then carefully remove the decal. We used an improvised presser in order to remove the excess water from the sheets and compact the fibers tightly together to produce a better quality of paper. After doing so, it is ready to be put outside for sun drying. When the sun drying completed, we ironed the paper to achieve a flat and smooth finishing. Treatment 1 undergone chemical retting for 4 days and it was boiled for 2 hours in a 5% concentration of sodium hydroxide containing 600 ml of water and 30 grams of sodium hydroxide. Treatment 2 undergone water retting for 4 days and it was boiled for 2 hours in a 5% concentration of sodium hydroxide containing 600 ml of water and 30 grams of sodium hydroxide. Treatment 3 undergone water retting for 4 days and it was boiled for 2 hours in a 5% solution of sodium hydroxide containing 600 ml of water and 30 grams of sodium hydroxide. It was also treated with 30 grams of raw cornstarch. Treatment 4 undergone water retting for 7 days and it was boiled for 2 hours in 5% concentration of sodium hydroxide containing 600 ml of water and 30 grams of sodium hydroxide. Treatment 5 undergone water retting for 7 days and it was boiled for 2 hours in a 5% concentration of sodium hydroxide containing 600 ml of water in 30 grams of sodium hydroxide. It was also treated with 200 ml of chlorine. Treatment 6 on the other hand did not undergone any form of retting but it was boiled for 1 hour in a 10% solution of sodium hydroxide containing 1,800 ml of water and 180 grams of sodium hydroxide. Treatment 7 also did not go under chemical or water retting, but instead it was boiled for 1 hour and 30 minutes and a 10% solution of sodium hydroxide containing 2,000 ml of water and 200 grams of sodium hydroxide it was also treated with 500 grams of chlorine. Lastly, treatment 8 did not undergone any form of retting, but instead it was boiled in a 10% solution of sodium hydroxide containing 2,000 ml of water in 200 grams of sodium hydroxide for 1 hour and 30 minutes. When performing the tear strand test, the treatments will be hanged and suspended horizontally by iron stands to stretch the body of the paper. Sets of weights will be placed and added at the center portion of the paper until the paper turns or breaks. After that, the cumulative set of weights will be recorded for analysis. Performing the absorption capacity test, 33 beakers will be prepared for the three replication in each treatment and control. 
100 ml of water will be poured inside the beaker before putting the crumpled papers. The three crumpled papers in each treatment will be dropped simultaneously and will be tied for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the wet crumpled paper will be removed inside the beaker. Then using a graduated cylinder, transfer the remaining water to know how much amount of water did the paper absorbs. Lastly, the amount of water will be recorded for analysis. In performing the tensile strength test, the treatments will be hung and suspended vertically using iron stands and vice grips. Sets of weights will be hanged and added into the paper until it completely tears from the vice grip suspended above. After that, the cumulative set of weights will be recorded for analysis. To test the writability of the papers, a blood test will be performed. Three 2x2 two two inch strips of papers will be cut from the treatments and different ink writing materials will be used such as ball pen, sign pen, marker, and highlighter. Then, the researchers will assess the results by observing whether the ink applied or written was absorbed by the paper or was only adsorbed by the paper. In performing the fire resistant test, the strip of paper utilized in tensile strength test will be reused to assess the resistance of the paper against fire. The timer will start if the surface of the strip of paper is exposed in the flame of the alcohol lamp. If the paper starts to burn and show the presence of orange flame, the timer will be stopped and the time will be recorded for analysis. Table 1 demonstrates the absorptive capacity of each paper. Based on the table, it reveals the treatment 6 or the treatment which did not undergone any retin processes and was boiled in 10% of sodium hydroxide for 1 hour has the highest absorptive capacity among the other treatments as compared to control 3 or manila paper with the highest absorptive capacity among the control with a margin of 1 ml. On the other hand, treatment 4, or the treatment which undergone water rating for 7 days, was boiled in 5% of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours, achieved the lowest absorption capacity with a difference of 9 ml as compared to the absorption capacity of control 2 or the bond paper. Table 2 shows the significant difference among the treatments in terms of absorptive capacity. A one-way between subjects ANOVA was run with the treatments completed as the independent variable while the absorption capacity served as the dependent variable. Results showed that there is a significant difference in absorptive capacity among the treatments specifically on control 1, control 2, control 3, treatment 1, treatment 2, treatment 3, treatment 4, treatment 5, treatment 6, treatment 7, and treatment 8 with an F value of 3.881 and a P value of 0 0.004. Thus, since the P value calculated was less than the significance level of 0 0.05, we can now reject our null hypothesis which means that there is a significant difference among the treatments in terms of absorption capacity. Tsuki post hoc analysis revealed that there is no significant difference among the treatments in terms of absorption capacity. From the table, we can see that treatment 6 with a mean of 97.33 and standard deviation of 0.577, treatment 8 with a mean of 96.67 and standard deviation of 2.517, and treatment 3 with a mean of 96.33 and standard deviation of 3.06 have the highest absorptive capacity among other treatments. However, it can be observed that the three treatments did not score significantly higher from the other treatments which implies that the three treatments have similar absorption capacity. Furthermore, as compared to the other control group, there were also no significant differences occurred which means that it has similar absorption capacity to that of newsprint, bond paper, and manila paper. The mean fire resistance of each paper as shown in Table 10 revealed that Treatment 1 or the treatment which undergone chemical rating for 4 days, boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours, has the longest resistance against fire as compared to Control 2 or the bond paper with a difference of 3.9 seconds. Nonetheless, treatment 4 or the treatment which undergone water rating for 7 days boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for also 2 hours exhibited the shortest resistance among the other treatments. This implies that treatment 4 has the weakest resistance to flame thus has the highest kindling point among the other treatments. 
As shown in Table 5, the significant difference. As shown in Table 5, the significance difference among the papers is presented in terms of fire resistance. A one-way between subjects ANOVA was run with the treatments completed as the independent variable and the fire resistance as the dependent variable. The analysis revealed that there is a significant difference in fire resistance among the treatments namely from control 1, control 2, control 3, treatment 1, treatment 2, treatment 3, treatment 4, treatment 5, treatment 6, treatment 7, and treatment 8 with an F value of 3.803 and a P value of 0.004. Thus, since the calculated p-value was less than the significance level of 0.05, we can now reject our null hypothesis, which means that there is a significant difference among the treatments in terms of fire resistance. 2K POSAC analysis revealed that among the treatments, a significant difference occurred in treatment 4 with a mean value of 2.31 and a standard deviation of 0.48. This implies that treatment 4 has the shortest resistance against fire in comparison to the other treatments. On the other hand, as compared to the control groups, treatment 1 with a mean value of 6.16 and a standard deviation of 3.32 showed a consistent significant difference, which means that it yields the longest resistance against fire. Thus, we can conclude that treatment 4 or the treatment which undergone water retting for 7 days boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours has the highest kindling point while treatment 1 which or the treatment which undergone chemical retting for 4 days boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours has the least kindling point among the other treatments. The table shows the means of the treatments in terms of tear strength. Based on the table, it reveals that treatment 4 or the treatment which undergone water retting for 7 days boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours has the strongest tear strength among the other treatments as compared to the control 2 or the bond paper with highest tear strength among the control group with a margin of 40.86 newtons. On the other hand, treatment 2 or the treatment which undergone water retting for 4 days was boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours, achieved the weakest tear strength with a difference of 2.52 newtons as compared to the tear strength of control 3 or the manila paper. Table 8 presents the test result for the differences among the treatments in terms of tear strength. A one-way between subjects ANOVA was run with the treatments completed as the independent variable and the tear strength as the dependent variable. Results of the ANOVA showed that there is a significant difference in tear strength among the treatments from control 1, control 2, control 3, treatment 1, treatment 2, treatment 3, treatment 4, treatment 5, treatment 6, treatment 7, and treatment 8 with, with an F value of 9.610 and a P value of less than 0 0.001. Thus, the null hypothesis will be re rejected, which means that there is a significant difference among the treatments in terms of tear strength. 2K POSOC analysis revealed that there is no significant difference among the treatments in terms of tear strength. However, treatment 3 with a mean of 72.51 and standard deviation of 7.77, treatment 4 with a mean with a mean of 80.84 in standard deviation of 0, and treatment 8 with a mean of 80.07 in standard deviation of 18.91 have better tear strength compared to other treatments. Moreover, it can be observed that the three treatments scored significantly higher from the other treatments which implies that the three treatments have better tear strength. Meanwhile, when compared to the control group, the three treatments, namely treatment 3, treatment 4, and treatment 8, or the treatment which did not undergone any writing processes, was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for 1 hour and 30 minutes, in particular, consistently scored statistically significant. The data from the table shows that treatment 6, or the treatment which did not undergone any writing process, was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for 1 hour, treated with 30 grams of group con cornstarch, achieved the strongest tensile strength among the other treatments, as compared to control 2 or the bond paper with a margin of 7.2 newtons. On the other hand, treatment 7 or the treatment which also did not undergone any writing processes, was boiled in 10% of uh, sodium hydroxide for 1 hour and 30 minutes and 
treated with 500 grams of chlorine has the weakest tensile strength with similar tensile strength to that of Control 1 or the new sprint. Table 11 presents test result for the differences among the treatments in terms of tensile strength. A one-way between subjects ANOVA was run with the treatments completed as the independent variable and tensile strength as the dependent variable. Results of the ANOVA show that there is a significant difference in tensile strength among the treatments from Control 1, Control 2, Control 3, Treatment 1, Treatment 2, Treatment 3, Treatment 4, Treatment 5, Treatment 6, Treatment 7, and Treatment 8, with an F value of 7.576 and a P value of less than 0.001. And thus, the null hypothesis will be rejected, which means that there is a significant difference among the treatments in terms of tensile strength. Yuki Pasek analysis revealed that there is no significant difference among the treatments in terms of tensile strength. However, treatment 5 with a mean of 51.91 and standard deviation of 15.70, treatment 6 with a mean value of 62.78 and standard deviation of 5.02, and treatment 8 with a mean value of 61.97 and standard deviation of 12.03 have better tensile strength compared to other treatments. Furthermore, it can be observed that the three treatments scored significantly higher than the other treatments, which implies that the three treatments have stronger tensile strength. Meanwhile, treatment 6, or the treatment which did not undergone any writing process, was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for one hour and was treated with 30 grams of good cornstarch. And treatment 8, which also did not undergone any writing processes, was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for one hour and 30 minutes, specifically showed a consistent significant difference as compared to the control, control group. Table 13 shows the tested writability of the treatment papers performing blood test. Based on the table, we can observe that treatment 6, or the treatment which did not undergone any writing processes, was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for one hour and was treated with 30 grams of good cornstarch, showed the adsorption in ball pen, sign pen, marker, and highlighter. Similarly, treatment 2 did not also show any absorption when using the marker. Meanwhile, as compared to the control group, we can see that all the treatments except treatment 6 performed better when writing using marker and highlighter. Based on the tests performed and the results achieved, the following conclusions are drawn. First is, based on the results, treatment 6 or the treatment which did not undergone any writing processes was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for one hour, treated with 30 grams of cooked cornstarch is the most acceptable in terms of adsorptive capacity. Furthermore, treatment 4 or the treatment which undergone water writing for 7 days was boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours and treatment 8 which did not undergone any writing process was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for 1 hour and 30 minutes were also acceptable since they exceeded the means of the controlled group. Next is the most acceptable treatment in terms of the fire resistance is treatment 1 or the treatment which undergone chemical writing for 4 days was boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours since it exhibited longer resistance against fire to that of control 2 or the bond paper with a difference of 3.9 seconds. How Moreover, all the treatments were also acceptable since it showed better resistance to fire compared to the control group. Next is in terms of tear strength in treatment 4 or the treatment which undergone water writing for 7 days was boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours, yielded a strong tear strength among the other treatments and, and control group. Furthermore, other treatments were also considered acceptable since they healed greater means to that of the means of the control group. In terms of tensile strength, treatment 6 or the treatment which did not undergone any writing processes was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for 1 hour and was treated with 30 grams of good cornstarch, achieved the strongest tensile strength among the other treatments with a 7.2 newton difference as compared to control 2 on or bun paper. Moreover, treatment 8 or the treatment which did not also undergone any writing processes was boiled in 10% solution for 1 hour and 30 minutes also exceeded control 2's tensile strength with a margin of 5 
2.69 tons. In performing the blood test, it was found out the treatment six or the treatment which did not again undergone any writing process was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for one hour and was treated with 30 grams of cornstarch as not suitable for writing for it showed adsorption in ball pen, sign pen, marker, and highlighter. Moreover, treatment two or the treatment which did not or which undergone water writing for four days was boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for two hours and is not suitable as a writing paper when using markers. In terms of absorption capacity, a significant difference was calculated among treatments. There is also a significant difference occurred among the treatments in terms of fire resistance. In testing the tear strength of the papers, a significant difference was also observed among the treatments. And in terms of tensile strength, the results showed that there is a sig significant difference among treatments. The following paper products were created using the cheap paper from Paragis Crest. First is the paper bag made from treatment 8 or the treatment which did not undergo any writing processes was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for 1 hour and 30 minutes. The packaging material made from treatment 3 or treatment which undergone water writing for 4 days boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours and treated with 30 grams of raw corn starch. Another product was also created is the paper envelope paper envelope made from treatment 8 or the treatment which did not undergone any writing processes was boiled in 10% of sodium hydroxide for 1 hour and 30 minutes. The paper straw with beeswax made from treatment 4 or the treatment which undergone water writing for 7 days was boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours. Also, another paper straw with beeswax was created but this time using treatment 6 or the treatment which did not undergone any writing processes was boiled in 10% solution of sodium hydroxide for 1 hour. And lastly, we also created uh, paper straw with beeswax from treatment 7 or the treatment which did not undergo any writing process was boiled in 10% of sodium hydroxide for 1 hour and 30 minutes and was treated with 500 grams of chlorine. And for the paper straw with bioplastic, it was made from treatment 5 or treatment which undergone water writing for 7 days and was boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours and was treated with and for the paper straw with bio and for the paper straw with bioplastic made from and for the paper straw with bioplastic made from treatment 5 or the treatment which undergone water writing for 7 days was boiled in 5% solution of sodium hydroxide for 2 hours and it was treated with 200 ml of chlorine. From the conclusion stated and the lapses observed during the conduct of this study, the following recommendations are suggested. Number 1. The result of this research study has shown that paragis grass can be effectively utilized as a raw material in making paper products. Thus, it is recommended to use it as an alternative raw material. Number 2. The seeds from the paragis grass is suggested to be embedded in paper products so that the seeds can grow after the product was thrown. Number three, tests such as germination and biodegradability tests should be also performed by future researchers. Number four, for future researchers, find ways in order to improve the odor of some products made from paragis grass. Number five, create more paper products such as egg trays, tote bags, etc. And lastly, number six, use a presser in order to achieve smoother type of paper.